Welcome back beer tubers. Ryan here back with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be looking at by far the most requested beer that I've gotten since I've started doing video beer reviews and that's from Bootleggers and this is their Knuckle Sandwich. Double IPA. It's a big 10%. Double IPA. This beer uh, they just released three days ago. So drink this one. Super fresh. I've gotten ton of requests I said mentioned for me to review this uh, I've had it before just never got my hands on a bottle before so big thanks to my buddies Brad and Bob for going up to the brewery and picking this up when it was released uh, this beer is not your typical West Coast double IPA it pours out very very deep orange into amber color it's really really hazy got like about a finger of um, a pretty yellow tinged almost a tan head almost in a khaki colored head on there so uh, it's a good good um, good alcohol leg sticking the side of the glass you know it's a big 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 beer let's get the aroma oh it's obviously it's super fresh it smells phenomenal uh, huge floral and sweet fruit notes they use a ton of Simcoe in this beer. In fact, there's periods where they couldn't brew it because they didn't have enough Simcoe to make it. But Wow, you want to know the fruity side of Simcoe? Get this beer. Super mango peach characteristics on there. Wow, I mean, just huge tropical notes. You get some sweeter orange in there as well. Kind of like a mandarin orange. There's a little bit of uh, like a piney character, little touch of like a resin character, but mostly very floral and sweet, you know, citrus fruits, sweet tropical fruits, that peach, smells awesome. Let's dig in, cheers. Yeah, it just falls the nose really well. First thing you notice is this beer actually has quite a bit of malt backbone. Can't really smell it on the aroma, but it definitely has a sweeter malt character to it to go with that sweet hop character. Up front, you get a very mild bitterness, actually. It's not as intense as other West Coast IPAs. Uh, it's been a while since I've reviewed a Bootlegger's beer, but they're up in Fullerton, up in Orange County. And this, to me, drinks sort of similar to some of the East Coast IPAs with a sweeter malt character. Again, not the intense bitterness, but it has those huge West Coast hop characteristics to it. Because you get a nice, light, sort of bitter grapefruit peel kind of bitterness up front. Then it just transitions into the, the sweeter hop notes. All the stuff you get on the nose, the mango, the peach, the sweet, like mandarin orange. That all comes midway through. And then like right as that bitterness fades, you get the sweet hops, and then you get some of the sweet malt character. A lot of caramel malt in this beer. Um, I almost get like a touch, touch of maybe like a, a roastiness or a, maybe like a chocolate-ish kind of character to it as well. So what's nice is those sweet hop notes carry over through the sweet malt backbone, and then the alcohol kind of comes in. I'm not overly boozy. You taste a little bit of that 10%, but it really helps dry the beer out. And it keeps that the malt keeps the malt in check from becoming too cloyingly sweet, and it finishes nice and dry on the back end. You get some of the lingering sweet hot notes, a little bit of uh, caramel malt in there as well. There's some brightness kind of in, in the malt character as well. So it's it's a very uh, different beer than we're used to, at least in a lot of the San Diego style beers. It kind of falls through to what like Alpine Exponential Hoppiness is doing, but not quite to that level. It doesn't have you know, the oak character. But it kind of drinks like some of my other favorite, you know, maltier big double IPAs like Maharaja. It's kind of along those lines, but it's still different. There's, there's huge amounts of Simcoe in this, so you're getting some of that, you know, the grapefruit um, and the sweeter peach notes. And it doesn't, and maybe with some age might develop some more like pininess and earthiness to it. But right now it's just overly floral and sweet and it's aroma and it's, and it's flavors. And it's just a really well-made on the sweeter side, double IPA. So 
Overall, I'm going to give this one an A. I think it's an excellent beer, especially if you get it fresh while well, you get all those great characteristics on it before uh, it becomes too sweet. I think, um, you know, give it a few more weeks, uh, definitely after a month, and this one's just going to be probably too sweet for my palate. So this particular bottle is getting an A from me. Thanks for watching. Thanks to Brad and Bob for picking this up for me. Glad I finally got it reviewed for you guys. So check it out if you're able to get it. Until next time, please comment, subscribe. Cheers.